Psychic America, this is Tracy Brown coming to you today, August 5th, 2014. Um, doing three videos today. Spent too much time on uh, Phaedra talking about other people, so I won't do that this time. Ciara, and I don't want to do 15 minutes on Ciara because this is a train wreck. Um, it's probably a train wreck waiting to happen. I'm so pissed that I didn't do the video on this because I, it, was, it had been requested over and over and over again. And, and I didn't listen to my psychic detectives because you all had a sixth sense that there was a problem here. You all had a sixth sense. So my people that follow me are more psychic and more intuitive than I am because I didn't do it. Like, how stupid was that? In any case, Ciara and Future are rumored to uh, not get married and everybody wants to know what happened. We did get a sense that there's been... An affair, they called her a mistress, but I don't think you can be a mistress unless you're, uh, the husband's married, but they called her a mistress. Um, Ciara, I think, just had his baby, right? I don't think she's still pregnant. And he is rumored to have another baby on the way. Um, future, by the way, what's going on? Is it true? Is it true that he's having another baby on the way? That's what I'm checking. Future, on the other hand, um... Is a skanky, uh, skanky, um, skanky, skanky, um, person. <laughs> Future, you're skanky. Ciara, why can you not see that? He's skanky. Ew. Ew. I wouldn't want his penis to touch me if it was the last penis on earth. Hmm. Said it. No, he's... <laughs> Ew. Come on. Ciara, you can tell how skanky he was. Ugh. <laughs> Skinky. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, well, the 12. In any case, um, join me um, at Twitter, at Pop Culture Psychic, and subscribe to my videos. <laughs> ah, future. I feel bad for Ciara. Or do I? <laughs> there is just something we should just know. Oh, God, Ciara. Well, hmm, where is Ciara from? <laughs> there's a little bit of, a, a lot of future in Ciara. Ciara's pretty, gorgeous, but the inside, like, it's kind of like they came from the same neighborhood. It's kind of like that. So she, it, he resonated well with her soul because it was the type of boys that she was used to dealing with. Sorry. Can anybody marry an accountant, please? Please, marry a damn accountant. Oh, Sierra, you are tore up from the floor up. You are very, very upset about this. Not a little upset. This is a tower card, and your world has crumbled. It was almost like in your head you were going to build this empire with future. And, and for you, it was really, really good. And to watch this crumble or explode it's like it exploded in your face it's just you're just not okay you really did love him you really did love him oh my god can't you tell when <clears throat> somebody's not reciprocating the love can anybody tell that <laughs> oh my god the signs are always there in a weird kind of way future was your knight in shining armor in a weird kind of way um, even the way he showed up for you and when you finally got that aha moment, it was huge. Um, I don't know if this makes any sense, Ciara, but hold on to your money. Watch your money. Hold on to your money. Um, which means if you guys have any investments together, any investments together, it'll be time to eradicate those investments. Just get out. Get, get out of any partnership or business that you're in together. Ciara, you're losing money if you have anything vested with him. Um, get out. Ciara, I, I don't know if I read this. Maybe I did. But what's going on here went on for quite some time. This is a girl that he has known. This is a girl that even before the engagement, this girl was there. This girl has been there for a while. Not just came up out of the blue after your pregnancy or, you know, after... This girl has been in his life. She's also a, go a fallback girl or a go-to girl regardless. So, Ciara. Sorry. Again, I get confusion. 
or did I say confusion before? I really get that you have you guys have something together. You're working on something together. This is a work card. You're working on something together, and it's probably new for you, maybe new for him too, because I don't get him being the brightest rapper out there. Most rappers aren't that bright. Very few are. Um, Jay-Z, I think, is pretty bright. But my favorite brightest rapper out there is the the Bose, B-O-S-E guy, the one that um, did Eminem. <laughs> I don't know my rappers, but the one that sold... B O S is it B O S E or oh, something Beats the one that sold Beats to Apple I don't know his name he is the brightest rapper in town no kidding because he's money smart Sierra you are you are in a point of despair you're not going to get over this you're not going to get over this you're actually extremely upset um there's going to be a need to fight back. I, you know, it would be nice if you fought back, kind of like Naya Rivera did when her relationship was over with her rapper, whatever his name is. So bad at this. And then she wound up marrying that white guy. <laughs> um, she probably had him in the wings, by the way. That's what I'm getting before. But, Ciara, you threw all your eggs in this basket. You, you really want to build an empire. There was something about, like kind of wanting to outdo Rihanna or something like that, like being a biggest blah, 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 blah. Not that you could. I'm just saying this is what you thought in your head, and between you and Future, you were going to try and, like, be that rap couple. Could I be wrong about that? Um, this, all of this just came on way too fast. There's some legal entanglements you have with Future. This is not over. There's an older gentleman that you're going to have to call upon, to get out of this legal entanglement that has something to do with um, future. But with the chariot card, I feel like the legal entanglements are coming to you. Something legal is coming to you and you're going to have to fend off this fight, this legal fight. Um... You know what? I actually think you, you truly did know who he was. That's not the joke. You did know who he was. Um, you just saw a whole nother side. Again, I keep going back to your childhood, so it would be interesting to find out exactly where you were raised, exactly where he was raised, and why that connection occurred. Because I feel like it occurred because you knew him from a gritty place of where you live. Like, I don't think you grew up, like, I, don't, I could be wrong, but I don't think you grew up like in middle America, you know, white picket fence, blah, 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 African-American girl. I think you had some history in terms of the streets, and he was familiar to that. Um, you're sitting on the fence because right now you just don't know what to do. There is a better guy that's going to come to you and step up to the plate, even in the midst of all this drama. He is a very, very wealthy man. Now, I'm getting him as a black man dark skin. I'm getting him as tall or big, big boned or tall. Comes with a lot of money. He is the game changer. I believe he's coming in the form of romance. I don't believe he's coming in the form of business. I think he's already around you and I think he wants, he's there right now. He wants to come in. He wants to change the game for you. He does not want you to be in any of this pain and it's real, real love that's coming through. This also is a man that you've already known. All right, Sierra, I'm out of here. I hope this reading is okay. I hope I answered some of these questions that um, everyone's looking for. I would have preferred to have done it before and seen that Future was cheating on you. But you know what? God is good. Maybe I wasn't supposed to see it. Like, that's so gritty to see, unfortunately. So maybe I just wasn't supposed to see it. All right, guys. I love you all. This is Psychic Tracy Brown. Call me at the Green Man Store, 818-985-2010. Thanks. Bye.